All right, hello, welcome. I am back in America. So I flew in from Spain a couple months ago, a couple months ago, a couple days ago. I had weird good timing with like the flight and everything where I actually fell asleep at like a normal time here. So I'm not feeling really jet lagged at all. I feel like I'm like totally on uh, this time zone, which is nice. I don't think that's ever happened. I just rented a car because, so my goal in Atlanta is to explore, see the neighborhoods because this is a city that I am considering living in if I end up in the US. Now it is very up in the air, we'll see. Atlanta is up there. I really wanna drive around, see the neighborhoods, see the different areas. I know Atlanta is like very, first of all, it's big and it's also really dependent on what neighborhood you're in. My car rental place was close to Piedmont Park, which I, here is supposed to be beautiful so i figured we could walk through piedmont park this morning i found like a cute little coffee place in there i might grab i haven't had anything to eat or i've had one cup of coffee so far so i want to grab some coffee grab some breakfast slash lunch also just wanted to say at the beginning of the video that portion is sponsored by thrive market very excited to be working with them again they're going to be supplying my atlanta snacks so more on that later it also feels so good to drive right now i haven't driven in a hot minute in San Diego whenever that was what, like five months ago we'll chat about Barcelona because yeah man I was not ready to leave let's just say that it's super nice they have bikes and scooters throughout the whole park because it's really big so you can just take a bike and this is beautiful. So right there is the famous Ponce, I think that's how you say it, Ponce City Market. And then right behind there's like this really nice center with a good TJ Maxx. Well, it's good for the outside. And then a Whole Foods. So I'm gonna go on the TJ Maxx, see what we can find. craving a McDonald's Diet Coke right now. <laughs> Drove past, sounded so good. Haven't had one in months. And why do they have the best Diet Coke literally ever? Like what is, what is McDonald's doing different with their Coke? I think we're setting a record for the slowest McDonald's line ever. <laughs> Okay, that was the weirdest McDonald's experience. That was bizarre. Literally sitting there for over 20 minutes and then I thought he was taking my order. I like ordered and then he just disappeared from the thing for literally 10 minutes after that and no one was moving, everyone was just stuck and no one was saying anything over the intercom. So everyone was just like pulling out and when I pulled out of the line, there were literally like 20 cars in front. So no idea what's happening in an old McDonald's today, but Diet Coke, it's not happening, we tried. All right, I am home, AKA back in the Airbnb. Just changed into some comfy clothes right when I walked through the door. So I'm gonna show you guys what I ended up getting at TJ Maxx and Goodwill, and then also my Thrive Market order. So I love getting my Thrive Market snacks whenever I get into a new city. So I wanted to thank Thrive Market for continuing to work with me and support my channel by sponsoring a portion of today's video. I am the beverage lady today. I've been using Thrive Market for years now. I love getting different snacks on there. I usually have my go-to things that I just look through my past orders and reorder, but this time I branched out a little bit for my usuals and I wanted to try some new coffees and drinks. And I actually have a couple beauty products here as well. So if you have never heard of Thrive Market, they're an online membership-based market. So many different things on there you can shop by diet if you're keto vegetarian gluten-free or you can shop specifically by minority owned brands they have just basics on there too they have like their own brand the thrive market brand where in the past i've gotten a ton of my basics from there like flour olive oil it's usually really good priced they do really good sales one of the big things for me is a you don't have to go to the grocery store it's just delivered to your door in carbon neutral shipping but also i just find it's so fun i love trying food it's so fun to like look on there and see what's new a ton of different things that you might not see in normal grocery stores but at the same time they also have those staples so it's kind of like you can get them both so i'm in atlanta for a week and a half I don't think I said that yet. I'm here for a week and a half and then I'm actually driving from Atlanta to my grandparents' house in North Carolina, which I love that it's so close. I never realized that before. So because I'm here for a week and a half, I wanted to get some, you know, just some coffee and things like that. So this one, I have never tried. I love a lot of Calipia Farms products, but the cold brew black coffee, I haven't tried yet. 
so excited to have some cold brew in my life again. Cold, cold coffee is not um, super common, in, especially in Italy. So I'm like so excited to be back on my iced coffee grind right now. And this I'm very excited to try. This is their oat pistachio creamer. This one says no added gums or oils. That's something I recently learned is a lot of the oat milks have like added stuff in there that's not good for you. But I'm into the pistachio flavoring for coffee. Mmm, oh my god, this smells like um, cereal milk. You know, the milk like at the bottom of your cereal bowl. I picked up some poppy sodas because I actually have tried the watermelon one before and it was so good. These are prebiotic sodas and they only have 20 calories in an entire can. Look at the packaging, so cute. Try not to move the camera on the table. I'll try their root beer flavor as well. It's hard to do good fake uh, soda, you know, like Coke root beer kind of flavors. Let's switch it up and do some, some beauty products for a minute. So I got this hair mask. It's doing better after this last wash I just did. I'm just feeling pretty dry from the water. So I wanted to get this coconut oil hair mask and this one i think had good reviews it smells like very natural coconut i picked up this face mask which i actually used the other day and i really am liking this so far it's the Faye brand so this is a new brand from thrive market it's their bentonite clay sourced from the mojave desert it's 100 percent natural clay vegan no additives cruelty free but it is that kind that like kind of tightens and you can feel it working <laughs> on your face but this felt so good after all of the flying it felt so good to just like get all of the gunk out of my skin and this i'm very curious to try it's a tinted SPF, tinted CZ cream. I'm just in the tinted SPF phase right now. It's what I have on right now. I haven't been wearing foundation that much the last like month really. And this is in the shade Sheer Beige SPF 30. I broke into these last night because I couldn't wait. These are one of my favorite things you can get on Thrive. The Tangy Dijon Mustard pretzels. These are gluten-free, but I feel like gluten-free pretzels are really good because they usually just have like a better crunch. Like these are very crispy, really like fresh. I love honey mustard. These with the borsin cheese. Oh my God, dipping in the borsin. This is what I was eating in Chicago. These are always a repurchase for me on Thrive Market. These are just love them the smart sweets the cherry ones red twists capers i literally eat these by the spoonful and then this i was really curious about because i love turmeric it's good anti-inflammation this is like a turmeric latte so it has cordyceps chaga reishi it's so like mushroom stuff got good reviews and they have different flavors of these as well okay one thing that totally saved my life multiple times when i was traveling i actually had the thrive market brand instant coffee with me and i only have like two packets left so i wanted to restock because these are really good for traveling because if you get into an airbnb or a hotel or you're abroad and whatever it is there's no coffee if you're like me and you like literally can't function without coffee and need it first thing in the morning these are so good for traveling with because all you need is a water kettle and most places have a water kettle so you can just keep the little packets on hand they're very lightweight too so easy to travel with i just have mine in a little ziploc bag and then you have instant coffee and actually i like the taste of instant coffee it tastes stronger to me but i like it I feel like it really gets me wired i'm so excited for this pistachio creamer but if you guys want to check out thrive market pick up some food some snacks i will have the link down below where you can get 30 percent off your first order at thrivemarket.com slash taylor and also if it's your first order they'll throw in a free gift up to 50 dollars. orders over 49 dollars ship free and i use their app and just like add stuff as i think about it too membership is totally worth it because of the amount that you save especially if you're repurchasing things over and over and you're getting like household items on there and the basics you can save a lot of money by shopping through thrive okay so now goodwill and tj maxx let's do goodwill first so i actually went into goodwill because i needed a pillow to sit on in the car because i'm short and i can't see out of the car right now so i was like i don't want to go buy a whole pillow from like tj maxx and i don't know that was my initial reasoning for going there i'm just gonna throw this in the dryer you know to kill the germs but nothing exciting it's just a four dollar pillow that was like very firm so it'll be good to sit on that's going in the dryer so they actually have the dressing rooms closed so i don't know if any of this fits but i got these jean shorts which are very lightweight and they look like they're gonna be cute in the butt 524 this oh this is funny i actually saw this brand at tj maxx after <laughs> afterwards so yeah pretty sure this is originally from tj maxx but this is cute like look at this i think it's gonna be cute with just black like biker shorts some sunglasses this was 624 and this i'm really hoping fits because this is so cute really cute dress with that kind of top what is that called you know what i'm talking about 
and it has buttons going down and 724. So then I did a little TJ Maxx just because I needed the adrenaline, you know? It's been a while since I've been in TJ Maxx or Target. Wow, we gotta go to Target just for funsies. But I found some cute stuff. So first off, I found this hat that was on clearance for $16. Don't know why. It's very cute. I thought this would be like a cute summer into fall kind of hat. Love the color, very, very fall, but also could wear this with like a black or white dress and it'd be really cute right now. And it's also super lightweight. I don't know if I'm gonna do a separate video or just include it in a vlog, but when I get to North Carolina, I'm having like, I have a new suitcase going there and then a carry on. I'm like redoing my whole traveling situation right now. And I just need to reorganize stuff. So I wanna do like a whole just, clean everything up, get it all organized. So I got these really cute travel reusable, resealable bags. They were $3.99 for all these. I don't like the watermelon ones, so I'll probably give those to my grandma if she wants them. I feel like she might be into those, but I love the black and white ones. So I thought it'd be good for hair products, any liquids, foundation, whatever. This is nothing exciting, just like a basic, very soft, flowy top. I kind of want one that I can like use for working out, but also kind of, you know, make it look cute with necklaces. And then last thing, I got this white dress. This was $12.99, very flowy, showed this trying on. It is a little bit like of a thicker material, but I guess it'll be good as I go in like September, October. I am going abroad again. It's gonna be pretty warm where I'm going, so I'm still buying like dresses, not like full fall stuff really. Wow, I'm excited to have this back in my life. Let me tell you, Old Spice Wilderness. <laughs> I was using like spray deodorant. It just, it doesn't cut it for me. We gotta get, get back to the Old Spice. This one smells like DKNY apple perfume. It's the best. And I like the white one. I don't like the gel one. The gel one doesn't work on me. So that's everything. It was fun to just drive around, be in a car, do some good old shopping. I need to get some work done today. So I'm gonna sit down and edit for a few hours and also need to edit some Instagram stuff. Did like four loads of laundry. Looking at my clothes like this, it looks excessive. Like it looks like I still have so much clothes. I definitely can still like narrow down more what I've been wearing. The smell of this fresh, fresh laundry after two months of hand washing and I used one yeah one of my places had a washer i am loving this it smells so good use that with the unstoppables throw in some oxyclean and wow my clothes are smelling smelling good so gonna organize all this fold it and i just got some fresh food to have because i'm craving like vegetables and salmon i just got like salmon chicken a bunch of fruit so very excited for this spinach and like craving all the craving the healthy things right now wait that's pretty good i would totally buy that again got all of the clothes put away but i thought we would chat about how barcelona was a little bit i mean i could have stayed a while i was there for a week and a half italy i was like i was ready to kind of move on barcelona no it feels like a very like livable city to me for myself personally like i could totally see myself living there i literally on the plane back was booking <laughs> my next trip to Spain, like trying to figure it out. I have a couple months in the US with like things that I need to do here and kind of regroup and get certain work stuff done and all that. And then I'm gonna be going abroad again. I don't know, man, whenever I'm in other countries, I just like see myself living in the US less and less. So we'll see. But I also, if I went back to Spain, I would wanna take a Spanish class and I'm gonna look up what the visa situation is because apparently their digital nomad visa isn't coming out until some people think like spring of 2023 and that allows you to stay for a year. I don't know, I'm gonna look it up, but that could be an option and that's something that I wanna do anyways. Yeah, I just got good vibes all around from Spain and I just have a good feeling about it. Well, we'll see. But Barcelona was one of those cities that people, I've always heard like good things about and I totally understand why, but it also just really made me want to see the rest of Spain. I'm gonna enjoy Atlanta, see what I think of it, see if it's a potential. You know, you just have a feeling about something, that's how I feel about Spain. Also, Barcelona, it's funny, it's super international, and almost everyone I was talking to when I said, like, yeah, I've been here for a week and a half, but now I'm gonna come back and, like, stay. But they were like, yeah, I thought I was just gonna stay for a few months, now I've been here seven years. Like, it just is one of those cities that it seems like 
yeah, it's just like a great place. And there's a ton of people from all over the place. So I'm going to force myself to do Jillian Michaels right now because I'm not walking like six to nine miles every day anymore. Did that like short walk this morning. Because I walked 4.35 miles today. That seems wrong. I feel like I walked maybe three. I'm gonna get back on the Jillian grind. Haven't done it in a while. I'm a little scared because right now my body is okay and usually workouts will flare it up. So I'm gonna try to just like do legs and keep it a little low impact to start and then try to like work my way up. But even with Jillian, I just like usually avoid the upper body stuff. I feel like I could fall asleep. Okay, here we go. You guys, this is this is so dramatic of me, but my dad just texted me that my favorite number one burrito place <laughs> that I've gone to since I was a kid, he walked past it and it said closed. So I'm like, no, there's no way. So I look on their Facebook page. It says, after 31 years, it's time to retire. Permanently closed and will not be reopening. It's, it's sad because it's like, A, it's the best burrito, but also it was a family run business that has yeah, been there like my entire life. And that's where we all went in high school and I just have like so many memories going there as a teenager and it's literally like the spot that I go back to every single time I'm in San Diego. I realize how insane it is to get like emotional over a taco shop, but it's just like one of those places, you know, when like something from your childhood ends and you just, you think it'll be there for forever. I'll forever love ya. Oh my God, I didn't get a shirt. Every time I'm back, I I always like mean to grab one of their shirts. Too late now. I think I have their sweatshirt. Okay, I'm trying the new coffee combo. Let's see. I'm so excited for this creamer. Been thinking about it <laughs> since I opened that package. I want to taste this on its own first. Hmm, pretty good. That's good. Yeah, it's strong but not like super bitter. That might have been way too much. Oh my god! I just realized I have a bachelor to catch up on. What a day! I'm excited. Oh, okay. That's really good. It's not like too sweet actually but you can taste the pistachio, but <laughs> having issues, pistachio. I think if I mixed in this with like a splash of sweet cream or like vanilla or put a few drops of the stevia vanilla, it would be really, really good. I just took a shower, but I have a running theory that this helps tanner stay on a bit better. So I'll report back, but it's the necessary hyaluronic acid body serum. And then I've also been liking the neck one. Also, I love their packaging, it's so cute. I'm also gonna try the CC cream I mentioned from Thrive Market, I'm curious. I'm just gonna go on a walk to um, Pont City Market this morning and then come back and work. I didn't leave the house at all yesterday. That workout didn't do great things for my body. Felt like I got hit by a bus all day yesterday, so I just ed edited, but I'm gonna do a little exploring this morning and then come back and work. Also got some morning iced coffee, cheers. I'm still in love with this perfume. I picked this one up in Florence, but you can get this brand in the US. The only thing is I can't tell how long lasting it is. Sometimes I feel like I can really still smell it, especially if I spray it like directly on my clothes, but then other times I feel like it fades off pretty quick. So I don't know. I don't have anyone who's sniffing me on the daily lately to tell me <laughs> how I smell. I'm first gonna just use my fingers and see what this looks like and then maybe blend it in with a sponge. Whoa, it's pretty thick. This has a pretty strong like herbal smell. I don't think that's doing anything flattering for my skin. It kind of just looks like a sunscreen with a white cast. Yeah, I don't think I love that. I'm gonna skip that on my forehead. I'm debating doing brow lamination again on myself. I got the kit from Amazon. I actually showed it in a vlog, in the New York vlog with Arbor. I did his too. And I really liked the look of it, but the kit I got from Amazon just wasn't good. Like it didn't last well. I waited the whole, you know, 24, I think I even waited like 48 hours to wet my brows. I did all that, it just didn't stay. I'm going to put my hair up. These are the best ponytails, by the way, from Amazon. I've talked about these in the past. They're just like, there's no, I don't know how to explain. It's more like a rolled in fabric. And they're really good if you have like thick hair or you like to wrap your ponytails a lot. And I have never had one break. So I've walked outside Pond City Market and like in the shops around it, but I haven't gone in yet. So I'm gonna go in, maybe grab some coffee. And then the belt line is right there. I have to see if there's like a better direction to walk on the belt line, but if you haven't heard of that, it's pretty cool. It's like New York or Atlanta's New York version of the High Line, where they built like a walking trail on above old train tracks. There's like a bunch of cool breweries and restaurants and stuff along it, apparently. I'm leaving it down. I have the dishwasher running right now, but just making some breakfast. I also want to get a, um, a lighter shade of brow pencil because I was just editing the Barcelona makeup artist video. You haven't seen that, it's up. I got the makeover and 
whenever I do those videos with makeup artists, they use lighter brow shades than what I usually use, and I always like how it looks, and then I just forget to buy a brow pencil, so I'm either going to order one online today or maybe go to Sephora and get one, but I usually just, there's so many good brow pencils from the drugstore that I just feel like usually you don't really need to get them from high end, like from Sephora. Probably just order one. Ooh, by the way, in the next vlog, maybe, yeah, probably next vlog, I actually got a new camera sent to my grandparents' house that I'm gonna try out. We'll report back on that. Sometimes I do things on vlogs and I'm like, wow, I don't think I've ever done that. I don't think I've ever cut a banana before in a vlog. When you're on YouTube for 10 years, there's pretty limited things that you haven't done online and I think that's the first. I'm sure it was thrilling. Wish I had cinnamon, but that's okay. That was so cool. I feel like that was like one of the best markets I've seen in the US. So nice, they have like a ton of homemade stuff, cute little shops. The bottom level is all food. Trying to eat healthy, so I didn't get anything, but I was tempted. But yeah, that was really nice. And just the way they have it like designed, really nice. Update for you on the Patrick Ta lip mask because I was just applying this and I was like, I haven't told them, told them an update on this, but I talked about this in the one of the Chicago vlogs, so I've been using this for a couple months now, pretty regularly, and you can see I still have like a lot left. I don't think this one's worth the money. It doesn't look like a whole lot on my lips, and I, I feel like it gives me some good moisture, but nothing crazy like honestly Aquaphor from the drugstore gives you way more moisture, and because this one doesn't give that like light pink color that I usually like, for the price, I think you could probably pass on Patrick Ta. But still very much obsessed with the uh, Lawless Get the filler. Actually, I uh, ordered their new one, the Cherry Vanilla. I have just been camped out editing here for the last like four or five hours, getting a video up and editing actually the vlog that you're watching. So I'm gonna end off this vlog here, but I hope you guys enjoyed it, enjoyed chilling with me for a couple days back in the US. I am not sure what I'm doing with the vlogs. Like, I don't know if I, I'm gonna do like a Atlanta vlog on its own besides this one. I don't know, let me know what you wanna see, or I could do like a, not house hunting, but like going around to the different neighborhoods exploring kind of video. Let me know specifically what you wanna see in Atlanta because I have like probably one other Atlanta video, but then I'm gonna be pre-filming a ton once I get to North Carolina. I have a lot of makeup stuff coming because I ordered a bunch of stuff, gonna be trying some new makeup. But if you wanna check out Thrive Market and get 30% off your first order, you can use the link thrivemarket.com slash taylorwin. It's linked down below in the description box as well. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.